Good morning. This is Dave from the Smithy Shop. I thought today we would look at doing those little adjustments to the machine that ensure the precision and accuracy. Whether it's the $300 special from the discount store or that $10,000 wow machine, you need to make initial adjustments. What we're going to touch on first here is something called backlash. Okay. Backlash is actually a lag between the time when you turn this handle and the time that the table moves. In fact, right now you can see we've got a lot of backlash in here. If you look down here real close at this gap between the dial and the machine, you'll see that that gap widens and closes, widens and closes. It should not do that. So let's do some adjustment here. Uh, I always like to put a paper towel up here on the table in case I lay a tool down like that. Okay, We're going to take this nut off just get it out of the way so you can see better. And what we're going to do is we're going to tighten this nut until we eliminate that gap. And we'll tighten it down a little bit. Oh, still there. Just keep going. If you go too far, you'll know because it'll become very, very hard to turn. Okay, just a little bit more. Ah, there we go. Now that gap is consistent in here. Okay. A little bit hard to turn. We'll loosen it up just a tad. There we go. Put this nut back on. The outside nut then locks everything into place. So we have adjusted the backlash here at the front of this table. Okay. There is another area on this y-axis where we can have backlash. You've got your long threaded screw that goes the length here that actually moves the table and on the brass nut under here there is an adjustment. So let's show you how to make that adjustment. Okay. Now I have removed the table from the unit so you can see a little better. This is that nut that we're talking about right here. If we reach in here we can see that this nut is loose. That allows slop between this section and the screw. Now there's four little adjustment screws on the end. By screwing these in, it'll separate these two pieces of nut a little bit. And by doing that, it will take out any slop between the brass nut and the uh, screw itself. You can get in from the back like this with an Allen wrench. Let's see, now when we turn this, this portion doesn't move at all. If you get it too tight, you'll know that because it'll become very hard to turn. So if that's the case, just back it up a little bit until you get a nice free turning on that. And that's how you adjust the backlash on this y-axis. Okay, you now know how to take the backlash out of your machine. The more you take time to do the little fine adjustments, the better the quality of your machining will be. Thank you, and we'll see you again. I want to thank you for coming into the Smithy Shop and watching this video. I hope it's been educational and informative for you. Keep an eye out for our other videos that will be coming out soon. So this is Dave saying goodbye from the Smithy Shop. Until next time.